directly. I'm just curious, like what what actually was causing all the slowdown with the books? Like what what was the fix? Yeah. So the difficult thing about books is you have these authors, right? And you've got, um, you know, when you're when your world gen generations gotten on, it's six hundred thousand events, seven hundred thousand events. And the authors always write these little quirky books about like my time in the tower or uh, what I think of my best friend or whatever. And like some of those are easy to get at from their um, from like their relationships, which are all kind of self-contained. But sometimes they just want to know about a historical event related to them that isn't stored within them. And then they'd have to check all of history. <laughs> it's just like just going through history and, you know, you know, you can you can help it out a little bit by starting from the back or whatever. But it's like it needed to collect a lot of events to know so that they wouldn't always write the book about the same thing. And uh, I just did it at the time. Just, you know, just one of those things where I put a note on it, please optimize this later, and then didn't get back to it. And most of those notes aren't that, that, that important. So I just missed it. But this one was actually really important. And uh, yeah, they were just checking every single time they wrote a book. It's like, oh, yeah, look at this million, millions of historical events. Yeah, and, load, yeah. load legends mode. Yeah, chunk, chunk, yeah, chunk, yeah, chunk yeah. yeah, just terrible. And so now what it does is they still do that, but they keep track of where history was the last time they checked. And just go on from there. And they also store from their previous checks, they store the most important events they found. And they store 100 of them. So it's still more than most of them will have. And they sort them by importance while they're storing them. So you really don't notice a difference. Um, uh, it, it would be it would be almost impossible to find any difference in their actual output, except it just goes super fast. Enough. That it, just the the increase in speed of world generation that you've talked about is kind of crazy. Like you know, I'm loading a large world in the background here for a thousand years, and you know we're in year 130, and it's been running for about five minutes, which is pretty good. But by the time it hits like year 200, it's gonna slow down so much that it'll probably still be going by the time this conversation's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't notice much of a change until you get yeah, get right around to where you're at, and then. Uh, you just don't have that slowdown anymore. Yeah, that that's awesome. I'm very much looking forward to just being able to generate a large world just to read about it. It's something I like to yeah. do, and instead of having to let it <laughs> run overnight, I can actually like talk to somebody. <laughs> I recall doing a 2,021-year-old uh, world last year, or 2021, <laughs> and uh, that thing, it must have crashed three times uh. each time after a solid hour or so of uh, of generating. And finally it worked, but I had to run it overnight yeah, to get that yeah. world to generate. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Jacob from, from UC Santa Cruz ran a 10,000 year thing on the computers they have there or something. And yeah, I don't, I don't remember how long that took. It's just, it's, it's not something you're supposed to do with the current version, but, but uh, now you can, I guess. Yeah. Just do it. Uh, you have to have memory. Like that part hasn't changed. Um, you need to have enough memory sitting around to support the uh, the uh, events that you're creating. Um, and you need to have, well, obviously hard disk space and also the patience to like save it to the disk. <laughs> but yeah. the, the actual generation time is now, yeah, vanished. I managed to um, generate a, 20, uh, a world that was 2020 years old, but admittedly that was a pocket-sized world. Um, <laughs> And it's the only age of death world that I've ever managed to generate, which I think is a little bit ironic. <laughs> it was admittedly a high savagery, pocket-sized world, so I'm not too surprised that there was very few survivors. Um, yeah, they're going to be eaten up. It's even worse now. Now they can rile up the wilds. <laughs>